Hey guys, I'll show you something I did. This is a really, really cheap way to get yourself a motorized GoPro gimbal, gyro stabilized gimbal. Now you don't have to use this. This is one of the newer or newer or whatever they call it, however it's pronounced, um, manual stabilizing rigs. I've just got it locked in place, okay? Now, what I did is I bought one of these quadcopter uh, cheap motorized gimbals. Now, it'll work with a, a quadcopter battery. I didn't have a, a JW Toys battery, so I used, I just cobbled together one of my SEMA batteries. Now, this part is usually above the camera here, and it hangs this way. All I did is I took these bolts loose, I mounted it the other way, I flipped this thing around and it worked just fine. So it was just a matter of changing some screws is all I had to do. Get pinched. You have to take the little zip ties off the wires that come installed on it. Once you take the zip ties off the wires, you should have enough slack to pull it around where the wires won't get pinched. If the wires get pinched and it pulls on the, the gimbal, you have a little bit of problems. Now, I've found that if you scoot the camera around and get just the right balance point, it works a lot smoother and a lot better. See how it stayed in one place there? So this is $40. This is a $40 gyro stabilized gimbal that they made for quadcopters, modified to use it for handheld. All the handheld gimbals that I've seen are 200 bucks or up. This seems to work just as well, records video just as good. So it's a quick tip for you. I thought you guys might you know, want to try out, save yourself some money if you don't want to throw that $200 gimbal on a four-wheeler or a, you know, somewhere that's going to be a little rough. You may take a chance of hurting your $200 gimbal. You get this little $40 job, use a little battery, and you can mount on anything you want, just a regular tripod. Um, I just happen to mount it on this, I think this is 28 bucks, a little manual one, and I locked it down in place there, and getting good results. But you can mount it on anything you want to. You can mount this in a car. You can mount it to one of these suction cup uh, GoPro things. Put it on a window. Mount it anywhere, and you've got a really cheap, portable, gyro-stabilized gimbal for some really steady GoPro shots. Anyway, um, my next review, I've got the um, cell phone stabilizing gimbal over here. I'm going to do one of those for you, so take a look. And I've also got a bunch of, bunch of gadgets and cheap electronics I bought from Wish.com. We're going to review them all, including a 3D adapter for my LG V10 cell phone. We're going to put that on there and see if we can shoot some 4K 3D. And it's cheap. It was like 8 bucks. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. It really helps.